Let's find out together. The major changes during mashing are the breakdown of starch, protein and beta-glucan. The breakdown of these substances primarily relies on enzymes to function at the appropriate temperature and pH. To take the bread down of starch as an example, the amylases in malts include alpha amylase, beta amylase, maltase, etc. Their optimum temperature and pH are different. Therefore, during the mashing process, various enzymes should be fully activated in stages through temperature regulation. This decomposes the starch completely. If there is any residual starch, it will lead to cloudy beer. The breakdown of starch is the most important enzymatic reaction in the mashing process. In addition, the breakdown of proteins directly affects beer fermentation and the quality of the final beer. In order to ensure that there is sufficient nitrogen to be used during yeast's multiplication, and to ensure that the beer has a better taste, the proportion of macromolecule nitrogen, mid-molecule nitrogen and low-molecule nitrogen in the wort was required to be appropriate. Likewise, the breakdown of beta-glucan is also important in beer brewing. On the one hand, the presence of an appropriate amount of beta-glucan contributes to the fullness and rich foam of the beer. On the other hand, partial breakdown of beta-glucan is necessary to reduce the mash concentration and make the wort filtration easier. In addition to the breakdown of the above three substances, many other changes occur during the mashing process as well. These changes are all aimed at obtaining a good quality beer in the end. If you want to learn more about beer brewing, be sure to follow us.